Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to EHANG in terms of CAAC airworthiness regulations for electric aircraft. In a previous episode about two weeks ago, we reported the 2021 International Electric Aviation Forum, also known as E-Flight Forum, held in Ichang, Hubei. In this episode, we are going to talk about the related airworthiness certification presentation by Yang Zhenmei, Director of the Airworthiness Department of CAAC. The content in this episode has been collected from Chinese news media with links provided in the video's description. The forum has invited Yang Zhenmei, Director of the Airworthiness Department of the Civil Aviation Administration of China, to give an opening speech, online due to the pandemic. One of the highlights is to introduce the changes that will occur after the fourth revision, reorganization, of CCAR-23. Here CCAR-23 is the short reference name for the document. The Airworthiness Regulations for Normal, Practical, Sports and Commuter Aircraft CCAR-23 specifies the airworthiness standards for small aircraft. Among the changes that have attracted the most attention of the forum are 1. Add Chapter H, Supplementary Requirements for Electric Aircraft Power Units 2. Allow all CCAR-23 aircraft engines and propellers to be certified together with the aircraft. Among them, with regards to the airworthiness standards for electric aircraft, if it is a simple power unit replacement, motor to replace fuel engine, the existing airworthiness standards can be used, if it is a new concept electric aircraft, refer to the corresponding professional conditions of the new regulations and formulate specific airworthiness standards as needed. The airworthiness department supports the development of the electric aircraft industry and adopts flexible methods to carry out airworthiness work according to actual needs. The formulation of approved policies and regulations should be explored together with the industrial departments and rely on the support of various industrial standards provided by the industry. There are a few slides available for the presentation by the director of CAAC Airworthiness Department. The slides may be partial and not a complete set for the full presentation. But, they still provide us the overall view. Here is the image of one original presentation slide. The subject of the slide is Airworthiness Certification Considerations for Electric Aircraft Here is the translation of the slide. Subject, Airworthiness Certification Considerations for Electric Aircraft Under the subject, there is a section, Determine Appropriate Airworthiness Standards. Under the section, there is a subsection for the electric aircraft of the new design concept. For this subsection, refer to the new 23 to formulate corresponding special conditions. Note, here the new 23 means the document CCAR 23 mentioned above. Certify as a special category aircraft. Or after the new 23 is issued. Use the new 23 as the basis for certification plus special conditions. Note, EHANG 216 belongs to this subsection. With regards to EHANG 216, this approach here basically indicates that EHANG 216 can be certified with special conditions regardless of the status of the more generic and broader CCAR 23 regulations. The regulations are lagging behind the technology. EHANG 216 does not need to wait for the broader CCAR 23 regulations. CAAC has recently finished the formulation of the special conditions for EH-216, yes. The special conditions is the final step for the EH-216, yes certification in terms of the regulation. With the accumulation of new design concept electric aircraft certification experience, special airworthiness standards will be developed based on the accumulation. Note, this approach indicates that CAAC may need more experience or data to improve the special airworthiness standards. With regards to EHANG 216, this approach may be consistent with the CAAC stated policy of combining review and trial operation for EHANG. In other words, the CAAC review and EHANG UAM trial operation will progress in parallel and help each other's improvements. Next slide. The subject of the slide is. Prospects for Airworthiness Certification of Electric Aircraft There are three slides for the subject. This is the slide one for the subject. Here is the translation of the slide. The slide states, Electric aircraft has become an important development direction of the general aviation manufacturing industry. The development of energy storage technology will accelerate the development of electric aircraft. 
Electric aircraft technology brings not only simple power unit replacement. There are also new design concepts. EVTOL and autonomous aircraft. Note, Ehang 216 possesses both new design concepts by being an autonomous EVTOL aircraft. The emergence of electric aircraft with new design concepts may change the future travel mode. Change the existing air logistics model and urban air traffic. Next slide. The subject of the slide is Prospects for Airworthiness Certification of Electric Aircraft. This is the slide 2 for the subject. Here is the translation of the slide. The slide states The Airworthiness Department supports the development of the electric aircraft industry. The airworthiness certification policy will clarify the channel for electric aircraft to enter the market. The formulation of regulations lags behind the development of technology. According to the needs of the airworthiness certification of electric aircraft, will adopt a flexible way to carry out airworthiness certification work. Under this section, formulate and improve relevant airworthiness certification policies. Carry out airworthiness certification. Adopt a pilot method. Gradually improve relevant policies during the review process. We'll work closely with the flight standards and air traffic control departments. Study the changes of the new design concept aircraft to the transportation system. And in turn, set requirements for aircraft certification. Next slide. The subject of the slide is Prospects for Airworthiness Certification of Electric Aircraft. This is the slide 3 for the subject. Here is the translation of the slide. The slide states, The formulation of the validation policy is the joint responsibility of the industrial departments, note, under the Ministry of Industry, and the Bureau. The formulation of airworthiness certification standards requires the participation of the industrial departments. Airworthiness certification standards require various industry standards to support. Under this section, Acceptable Compliance Method the Airworthiness Certification Department joins hands with the industrial departments. Jointly promote the development of the electric aircraft industry through airworthiness certification. The above is the available content of the presentation by the Director of the Airworthiness Department. As you may feel from the presentation, the CAAC is supportive of electric aircraft airworthiness certifications. It recognizes that the regulations are lagging behind the technology and takes the corresponding flexible approach to speed up the certification processes. With regards to EHANG 216, the approach indicates that EHANG 216 can be certified with special conditions regardless of the status of the more generic and broader regulations. This may mean that the special conditions is the final step for the EH 216 S certification in terms of the regulation. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.